early morning this time for this interview. We've done early, we've done middle of the day, we've done uh, late at night, so early this time. So you're fresh from haying the horses. Given I'm, the I'm fresh from haying the horses, so I apologise, guys, for my lack of uh, of perfect hair. I don't exactly look like I'm walking down the aisle in the Oscars, but I I, I am real. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we have to sort of manage our lives around our horses, so it's part of everyone's life. So, But Natalie, thanks for joining us. Um, we're looking forward to the Lemure National Grand Prix Championships at Hartbury, just a matter of days away now, really. Um, you're going to bring the lovely DHI home run, commonly known as the exciting Jojo, uh, to join yeah. us. Um, yeah. Really looking forward to having you there. You, it's sort of, you're both quite new to Grand Prix, and I know you've sort of taken your time, but I really admire you for sort of the time that you've taken and really to get yourself used to riding Grand Prix. Yeah, for sure. So th this is actually, um, we, we, we did do one Grand Prix at the end of last year. But technically speaking, this has been our first year at Grand Prix. Um, it has taken, I have, I have, as you said, taken a long time with Jojo to get him here because he's not a very confident horse in the arena. And so he needs to be uber established at home and confident within the movements in lesser environments in order to really show himself off um, at, the, at the bigger shows. Um, so we've been sort of doing our best during this difficult like COVID period to try and get him out at the Grand Prix. Um, I've really learned a huge amount this year that like, although I've got a huge amount of experience at small tour level, um, I'm having to kind of grasp everything I've got just to try and even get through a Grand Prix. It is such a massive, massive um, a leap up. Um, and I, I think, you know, if anyone who's embarking on that step up, I think the biggest thing for me is, you know, you literally have no breathing space in the Grand Prix test to sort anything out. If things start to go wrong, you just have to keep keep re resetting up for the next movement. Um, so I'm just over the moon and just absolutely gobsmacked that we're actually going to the Nationals this year. You know, it, it's been something that I've dreamt of doing since I can't well since I can't remember and it was quite emotional when uh when BD rang me to say you know look we, they give you an invitation to go to the nationals I, I, it was a it was a feeling of like just being so so excited and then on the other hand thinking oh my god I'm actually going to have to do this <laughs> so, yeah no and I I, it, I think it's heartening for people to hear sort of somebody with your experience because I mean you you are a very experienced rider but you're still quite new to the Grand Prix just finding that that step up it I think a lot of people just sort of look at Grand Prix and they think yeah I could do that but actually it's just it's another, do, do, another you know what? I, I think I think it's that um that sort of milestone of fine you know for all of us part of it is finding a horse um that that is capable of doing the Grand Prix there are so so few horses um that are capable of doing it and you know there is a massive difference between a horse that's um doing Grand Prix movements at home and a horse that can actually do the Grand Prix test in a in a competition environment from start to finish that's the big big difference you know I've got several horses uh, other horses at home um as well as Jojo that are working at Grand Prix um at home um but having competed at Grand Prix this year I appreciate that you know that 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 is still just like one little notch on the on the ladder to know if these horses will actually be successful enough to to do a full Grand Prix test one day and um yeah so uh, no for me I mean I've been competing international small tour now for like five or six years but I I can assure you when I'll be coming down the centre line at Hartbury in two or three weeks time I I will be an absolute bag of nerves <laughs> and someone someone at the side I think we're only allowed one person there so um, whoever's with me that day will definitely be using the words, you know, breathe, remember to breathe. And uh, my, my, horse, my horse is not the best at breathing either. So, you know, if, if only we could take oxygen bottles in with us, we'd probably be doing a better job. OK, well, I'll, I'll hopefully be there and I'll, I'll remind you to <laughs> and smile because we love your big smile. Oh, right. bless you. We're getting in the festive cheer. We're going to do some quick fire Christmas questions. A little bit random, a little bit mixed, but cool. hey, okay. Christmas. <laughs> Um, so answer as quickly as you possibly can and um, we okay. end up chatting normally I say this and we sort of set off fast and then we end up chatting but don't worry we'll see how it goes um so right are you ready are you in the zone first yeah. question mince pies short crust pastry or flakery pastry oh short crust for sure Christmas tree lights white or colored white turkey meat white or brown uh, white be honest do you like giving gifts or receiving them better I genuinely love giving. 
for sure. <laughs> You're at a party, mistletoe. Do you make a beeline for it or do you avoid it like the plague? No, I would I would hide. Definitely hide behind <laughs> the sofa or something. <laughs> Christmas Day, is it lunchtime or dinner at nighttime for you? Oh, I'm going to go awkward. Normally around sort of somewhere in between. It's some nondescript hour on Christmas Day when we're not doing the horses and, and, and someone's actually managed to cook something. <laughs> okay, sounds good. And do you muck out on Christmas Day? I, I do, I do, yeah. Uh, your favourite Christmas song or hymn? Um, actually, do you know him? Actually him, yeah. Do you have a, a favourite one? Um, I, do you know what? I love a bit of silence. Sort of, well... <sighs> I can't think of anything. I, I just associate hymns with sort of churches. And it, even though I'm not hugely, hugely religious, I think there's something very, you know, it is what Christmas is generally meant to be about, isn't it? So um, having been brought up in the Middle East, uh, you know, and having moved to England when I was sort of like 10 or 11, I, I, I do still kind of associate the kind of hymns as churches as quite magical kind of Christmas type things. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm with you on that. We've had an awful lot of Mariah and a bit of wine. <laughs> well, I'm with you on the hymn front. I'm with you on that one. Christmas pudding. Do you have yours with brandy sauce or rum butter? Oh, rum butter sounds amazing. I go rum butter. Christmas movies. Elf or Miracle on 34th Street. Oh, Miracle on 34th Street. Oh, Natalie, we're soulmates. Sure. Everyone else yeah. is so <laughs> We're definitely soulmates. Uh, what's your go-to meal on Boxing Day? Um, oh, definitely whatever wasn't eaten on Christmas Day, uh, reheated, which tastes, even with my cooking, tastes better on the second day. Yeah. Uh, complete the sentence. It wouldn't be Christmas without... Um, giving horses unusual vegetables as presents. Love it. <laughs> Is it acceptable to eat Quality Street for breakfast in December? Oh, 100% throughout the whole of December and preferably into January as well if it's cold. Okay. And what have you asked Santa for this year? Um, what have, uh, oh, God. Um, I, I, I really, 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 I've seen these amazing PS of Sweden, like Christmas matchy sets. I, you know, I'm not a girly girl when it comes to clothes and handbags, but I love matchy stuff for my horses. So... I'm hoping for some form of really nice match you get for the horses. <laughs> we'll, we'll ask Lemire if they can sort you out with that. <laughs> um, heroes or celebrations? Um, ooh. Heroes, actually. Yeah. Uh, I, Queen, I love my teasers, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Queen's speech, essential viewing or time for a snooze? Well, uh, no, essential viewing. essential viewing in this house, yeah. Okay. Uh, favorite family Christmas tradition? Oh, um, I would say my family are probably like the least traditional. My family live all over the world. Um, yeah. We're all different nationalities and uh, living in different sort of areas. Um, so tradition, do we have any? Uh, probably, again, I'm going to go like uh, our horses are probably the most traditional thing we do. So giving horses, you know, interesting stuff to eat on Christmas Day and and enjoying them and just cuddling them and having a good time really <laughs> uh, your christmas shopping are you all done and dusted by the first of december or is it a last minute christmas eve panic? it will be beyond last minute yeah <laughs> and we haven't got olympia this year to do to sort of rush uh, no, i know i know i god help you all god help you all i hope i really do hope that, that my family and all my lovely staff will be getting christmas presents this year because normally that's what i do i go to olympia for the day and um you know and actually you know Lemieux would be my go-to shop in <laughs> Olympia to buy everything for everyone I you know without fail I know they will be the people to uh, to have everything so uh, yeah difficult year this year yeah, but well, maybe have... maybe maybe up there with one of the most difficult things about COVID how to do Christmas shopping but yeah the website the, the Lemieux website's pretty good so you'll be fine. yeah yeah 100 percent. get yourself get yourself your favorite <laughs> tickle and park yourself in front of it yeah uh, final question will you be making any new year's resolutions and what's the chance of you keeping to them um I, I think i will try and make some new year's resolutions uh whether i'll keep to them or not i don't know i i, I think my biggest problem and i think this goes for a lot of uh, uh full-time riders is trying to balance my home life with competing with riding with teaching um and having any time for myself because uh i care for my mum here at home as well and um yeah I do get to the end of the day sometimes and think I think you know the, at the start of the day it looks doable and by the end of the day I'm quite convinced it wasn't as doable as I thought <laughs> so yeah 
Well, all the best laid plans all don't always work out. But um, <laughs> Natalie, it's been a pleasure to have you. And um, we look Thank forward you. to seeing you at Hartbury. Uh, not long now. So hopefully Jojo's yeah. putting his dancing shoes and getting ready. Um, yeah. But we just wish you the best of luck with it and can't wait. Thank you so, so much. And a massive thank you to BD and the sponsors of the, the Championships of the Muir for allowing me to attend. And uh, really is a massive uh, bucket list tick for me to even be there. So whatever happens, I'll still be just over the moon to, to be there. Brilliant.